in the, in the very first assignment, I had included a link to um, hypothesis tips for annotating, and as well as another uh, link to, I think it was um, another university, Washington State, I'm not sure, but that had a good description of how to annotate, what you're trying to achieve with annotating, and then I gave them my own instructions, which for for the first article, I asked them to make comments between pages one and 10, and they didn't have to read all of that material, and then that they had to make an equal amount of comments on the second half of the article, and they should, they should bring up five vocabulary words that they had looked up, and then um, also trace the meaning of misogyny and what it meant for these different authors over time. And so their comments were really directed at analyzing the article itself. And I was able to see what they thought. I was able to see what kind of words they looked up, which were surprising to me because a lot of times it was vocabulary that I would have thought they knew, but it just it just kind of reinforces how difficult it is for them to transition from shorter texts to longer texts and then, you know, academic texts. So that I think in itself was a good experience. And then seeing that they all completed the task, the, the first assignment, 100% of the students completed the task because they were held accountable for it. Um, and I don't think they would have done that in the class if I had just said, read this part of the article and then come in and we're going to discuss it. They, they would not have read it. So by the time we got to class, we were able to have this discussion and talk about it. And